But yeah, we about to get this interview started. I'm here with D2, Daryl, the visionary. And he's about to interview me about doing what I love. And one of the things I love doing is eating crawfish. So we about to get it started. Okay, so Amira, will you talk about, uh, first of all, what is your brand and why you created it? Oh, do what you love? Basically, I only like doing what I love. If I don't like doing something, I don't want to do it. So anything I do, most likely, I love it. So that's where do what you love came from. And I think anybody in life, anything you like doing, if you want to be successful, you got to love it or else you're not going to be as passionate about doing it, basically. Yeah. So I think it's like more of a, do what you love is more of a lifestyle than just a brand. I just want people to like always live their life doing what they love. That's it. It's a lifestyle. Do what you love is a lifestyle. Okay. There it is. <laughs> um, so who are your inspirations? Inspirations. My family. My mother. She always she always believes in me. Always tells me I can do anything. Anytime I told her I'm doing something crazy, she always has my back and say, if you love it, if you believe in it, do it. So my mom, my family, that's my inspiration. And then when I see people happy doing what they love, that makes me happy. It, it excites me. So, yeah, my family and people doing it. That's really nice. So, I noticed that you have an accent. Accent? Me? <laughs> Sounds me? like you have an accent. Can you me? tell us where you're from? I originally, I'm from Brooklyn. PK in the house. Okay. But um, I moved out like when I was like 11. So Brooklyn don't really claim me like that. But I still sound like that. I actually went to high school and stuff in Friendswood. F Wood. They don't claim me either. But <laughs> 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 whatever. But um, yeah, I'm from all over. Houston, New York. Um, now I live in Fort Worth, Arlington area, so that's what's good. Okay, so... They don't claim me either. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Well, what are your ambitions? What do, what do you love, Amira? I love eating this crawfish. No, my real ambition <laughs> is like, for real, motivating people, inspiring others to do what they love, because it's so easy, and it's sad when people don't do it because they make excuses, or they failed before, and... That's, that's part of why I do it, it's just to drive, to show people that if I'm doing it, and I'm me, like, you could do it if, and you're you. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Just so, do it. you're into um, things such as stand-up comedy, right? Yes, yes. How, how did you get into that? Yo, alright, comedy was real random. You know, I've always been funny, you know? But, I think I want to do really motivational speaking. And I was, at, I was at the club, and I saw a flyer for open mic. And I told my sister, I was like, yo, I'm going to do this next week. And she was like, really? And I was like, yeah, might as well. It's another venue for me to, you know, get my speech out, to speak, to practice. So I tried it, and people laughed, and I felt good. And it felt really, it felt really good on stage. So that's when I knew, like, yo, I love this. Let me actually, let me actually try. Let me, let me be for real about it. And that's how I got into comedy. Well, you're funny. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, but... Talk more about public speaking because uh, that seems to be what you're really passionate about. Yeah, um, yeah, and thank you, thank you. Because some people just think I do comedy. I do that and I do love it and I think it's great. But I'm, I'm really inspiring to be more of like a professional speaker. I want to speak about funny stuff and I want to motivate people. That's where do what you love comes along. I want to motivate people to do what they love. And that's why we have the show called Do What You Love, so we can like highlight different people that do what they love. Sorry. So, who do you love and are you for sure? Who do I love? And are Myself. You? And I am for sure with it. Okay. I'm for sure with it. You for sure with it? I love you. I love you too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, okay, great. Uh, but family? <laughs> family? Family? Yeah, family, uh, friends, is there, is there anyone specifically that uh, impacted you? Besides my mom? Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> when did you start? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh, it all started. Me actually speaking that I went to do this was... I had a job at the Boys and Girls Club, and my job was a YDS, which was a youth development specialist. And I had to give groups to the kids. And I was doing one group on goals, and I asked one girl, I was like, yo, if you could do anything you want, you know, what would you do? And she was like, oh, I'll be a supermarket manager. I was like, no, no, if you could do anything, you know, anything. And that was really all that she could aspire to be. And after I heard that, it was like, you can do anything and that's what you, not, not knocking you know store managers somebody has to do it but if you don't love it and you're still young and you can still make those decisions like why settle for that 
So that kind of like really inspired me to, I have a message to tell people. Like you can do anything, like you can really do it. You just need to go out there and do it. And I, I think the youth and people in general, not even just young people, don't know that or don't believe it. And so I think my job is to let them know, yo, you can do it and believe it and just do it. And if you don't believe it, just watch, you know? <laughs> just watch, that's all you can do. Okay, so in developing yourself and uh, what you what you love, um, did you have to go through any hardships or struggles? Yo, every day is a struggle. <laughs> no. <laughs> Biggie Smalls said that? Oh, look at you doing Brooklyn. That's what's up. No, um, yeah, this a lot of, every day for real, for real, could really do be a struggle. But as far as getting where I want, I think the only struggle I compete with is myself and just keeping believing in myself, knowing that I could do it despite anything else. That's the only person I really have any competition with is myself. As far as anything else, I just try to pray and just keep it moving because stuff is going to happen. It's how you react is what's going to make the real difference. So it's really about taking life, taking what comes at you and rolling with it and making it better. Make it better. Always be better. Always be better. Only be better. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, hey, hey, hey. I'm, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling in love. That's what's up. Do what you love. Um, okay, so what are your, your, your plans and ambitions for the future? Yo, I'm launching a show called DWIL. That's this. Highlighting people <laughs> that do what they love, uh, myself included, and other people that are out there doing what they love and making a difference and actually are serious about it. So that's one of my future plans. Doing a lot more volunteer work in the community. That's another one of my plans. And I'm also in school. I'm getting my master's, so I'm working on graduating this semester. So once I do that, yo, sky's the limit. Okay, definitely. So is there anything that you want to uh, tell the viewers out there, the young children, or maybe like people who are um, already adults, who are kind of thinking like, this is where I am now, but how can I get where I want to be? Or is there anything you want to yeah first off know what you love know what you want to do a lot of people don't even know what they love they don't even know where to start they're just like oh I work every day no what do you love doing like some people don't know those little things so find out what you love find out if there's a market in there if there's any way you can make money because you need money to do what you love also that's also part of it you know you can do little things like eat crawfish play basketball that's little free stuff but for real as, as a job as a lifestyle as a career um, find something, a market for what you love and find a way you can make money doing it. And do it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, definitely. It's all about the action. Doing what you love. Yo, it is action. That's the second time I heard that today. Action. <laughs> action. Yeah, that's Daryl too. Hey, for action. <laughs> no, the A is for a mirror, not action. Okay, or, or Alvin. <laughs> so... Thank you very much, Amira. It seems like uh, you're very ambitious about what you do. A for ambition. Oh, there it is. A again. <laughs> right? Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing you uh, in the future. And I'm, I really want to see what you come up with and how you're going to impact the world. Oh, me too. I'm excited. Thank you for, thank you for taking the time to interview me. Um, you're the best person for the job. So uh, everybody, this is D2. You can see him on a lot more stuff that we're working with. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you're doing what you love. I'm doing what I love. Are you doing what you love? I love what I do. Exactly. So hopefully you're doing the same. My name's Amira. Daryl too. Do, do what, what you love. love. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Amira. I really appreciate uh, taking the time out <laughs> taking the time. <laughs> to interview you. <laughs> Yo, thank you for coming out here and interviewing me. And I'm not going to mention that I might dub you out, but... <laughs> Sorry. It's not gonna be mentioned. <laughs> All right. That's funny. Yeah, see you everybody. That's it? We're just gonna say goodbye like that? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> do what you love. Love ah, okay. what you do. Okay. Ah. Redo that redo the ending. Like the just the ending. Like <laughs> everybody, this is D2. You're gonna see him on a lot more stuff that we're working with. Hopefully if he comes more. But no, he'll be there. He'll always be there. Peace. Do, do what you love. Oh, we supposed to say it at the same time. Ready? Do, Do what, what you, you love. love. That was weak. Oh. <laughs> 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 he was supposed to be a speaker. <laughs> Do what you love. Turn up. Get your water. <laughs> Get your tea. Yo, he had a hot All right. All right, cool. One, two, three. Do, Do what, what you, you love. love. Uh <laughs>